So as most of you all have been asking me to do the review of Latafa Najdia, here I am with a brand new bottle of Najdia and also I'll be doing the side by side comparison with Rasasi Havas for him of which this is claimed to be a clone of. So sit back, relax, keep watching this video till the end, like, share and subscribe to the channel and keep watching Smell Zone India. Latafa Najdia, how it compares with the, the original one, the original formulation, as we all know, it's Rasasi Havas. Some people think that the Invictus is the original composition, but it's not. It actually is inspired from Rasasi Havas. So this one is the original one, right? So let's see the presentation of Latafa Najdia. See the presentation. This is the box. Looks uh, pretty decent. 2000 rupees MRP listed here, but you can easily get it for about 14 to 1500. And it's also available uh, in decants on our website, smellzone.in. So you can check that out as well. Five and 10 ml decants, it's easier for you to judge a fragrance uh, before buying a bottle. So I always tell people not to blind buy any fragrances. 90, 95% of guys and girls like Savage DNA, but there are few people who don't like the DNA. Uh, they find it sharp, they find it uh, really punch in your face. So, so it's different for everybody. Like fragrances are subjective. Uh, we always talk about this and that's why I tell you to decant or sample it first. Uh, so for decanting, you just have to hover over our website, smellzone.in and you can find a 5 or 10 ml decant of any of the fragrances we talk about. Uh, for example, Najdiya, you will see the link, you can buy the sample. And yes, we are shipping internationally. Looks really nice. And by the look of by the look of the bottle, you can imagine that this is going to be a really green kind of leafy fragrance. See, there's a leaf imprinted on the bottle and it is see through right here. You can see me uh, and this is the cap. It gives the illusion of uh, being a metal metallic cap, but it is not a metallic cap. This is a plastic cap, although it's a good plastic and we have this nice kind of leathery pattern on the top. On the sides, I mean, which says made in UAE and all the perform concentration. So it, is, it is EDB concentration, so it's gonna last long on your skin. Now we'll see the presentation of Rasasi Havas. I'm opening the seal pack only for you guys. So by the way, people ask me, are, the, are your products authentic? Yes, they are definitely authentic. And we are also certified sellers. So don't need to worry about the authenticity. I always tell people so that we only buy from licensed distributors importers official distributors so 5749 to be very precise you can see the mrp and here is the 2021 bottle you can see the color of the juice is now darker right previously in 2019 18 batches it was not it was very light although the performance is quite the same it is i won't say it is beast mode like the non-deformulated batches obviously the reformulations uh, happen time to time the left hand i'll spray the najdia so i'll spray this it's a lot more greener to me to my nose it's a lot more greener as compared to havas but it has that bubble gummy uh, smell sweet smell going on so we'll spray this one as well on the right hand so the mist you can see the havas mist is amazing Mm, the only thing which bothers me in this reformulated batches is a synthetic opening. I don't like it at all. It's like alcohol uh, kind of ethanol kind of smell which really troubles me. Um, and I uh, happily I can say that in Najdi I didn't find that a cloying opening. Kind of sweet kind of citrusy blend in the opening. And it's more bubble gummy. If we smell it side by side it's more bubble gummy. It's more aquatic, marine kind of smell. On the other hand, Najdia is like thicker, more grassy. Even if people say that this is a clone, uh, I, I think that they are not trying to clone anything. They have made their own composition, Latafa Najdia. I really enjoyed the opening, the first spray, initial spray. It doesn't give me that clawing sort of synthetic. I'm not saying that Hawa's quality is not good, but the formulations obviously make the composition unpleasing kind of in the opening. But settle down. Same Havas smell is there. In Havas, I get the throughout bubble gummy, kind of marine, aquatic, and a little bit of that uh, citrusy smell. That's about Havas. And when I smell this, what I'm smelling here is a lot of woods. Hint of vanilla in the trident. I don't know if there is vanilla in it, but a hint of vanilla in the trident. 
has that kind of uh, thick creamy vibe and this this one doesn't this one, this one is straight up marine aquatic citrus yep so that's about the fragrances profiles do i see the difference yes there is a difference in it but i i can't say that this is uh, the exact replica or it's a clone of rasasi hours so for those who are thinking that it is a clone it will be give you the same uh, smell like rasasi hours it won't this is a different smell that is a different smell uh, that is as i told you it's, it's it's quite it's more leaning towards aquatic uh, sand bubblegummy kind of smell but this one is leading towards more grassy more green earthy smell also with that woodsy uh, base this was my video and uh, thanks so much i'll see you in the next one peace